Macros are like actions in Photoshop. When you click New Macro, and I'll click No to initialise in ZBrush, ZBrush will record any actions you do until you click End Macro. These actions will be assigned to a button which can be hotkeyed for later use. For example, when I was doing the three hour sculpts, I would find that every week to start the eyes, I would select the toy plastic material, set my colour to white, select the MRGB channel, fill the object with the material and colour, then select basic material again, which is what I usually sculpt with. While this might not seem that laborious, during the three hour sculpt it eats up time unnecessarily. Once you click end macro, you can save it out and find your new hotkeyable button in the macros palette. At this point I would enable customize and put the button somewhere on my UI, or control alt click to set a hotkey. You can also navigate to the folder that you saved the macro in and edit the .txt file if you want to tweak the macro. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Peace.